I'm Caleb Brooks with the AHSAA Radio Network. I'm at Jasper High School, joined by members of the 5A state champion volleyball team here at Jasper. I'm going to let them introduce themselves and tell you their name, what position they play, and what grade they're in. My name is McKinley Ferguson. Most people call me Lou. I play outside hitter and setter. Um, I'm a senior. My name is Temperance Chapman. They call me T. I am a senior and I'm a libero and a setter. You know, uh, senior and, you know, it was obviously y'all's last time playing high school volleyball last week, but you guys were able to go out on top again. And, uh, you know, now you're back to back state champs. And, you know, to do it uh, your senior year, but then to, to complete back to back, I mean, how special is that for y'all? Um, it's pretty special. I mean, leaving as a senior, like, is basically like, having something for people to come to look up to and like try to strive to do what we did or even do better. Yeah. And you know, I mean, last year when you guys made the turn and you know, got there and got the first one, I mean, what was that feeling like a year ago to get there and, and to get that title and, and to win the first title, you know, in your back to back? Um, well, before we had won the state championship, we also, the year before that, lost the state championship. Mm -hmm. And losing the state championship in the fifth set by two points, that really, that hurts. But it also gives you motivation. And that is what motivated us last year to win state championship. And then this year for us to win it again, winning last year also motivated us to win this year. And like she said, it, you know, sets the standards higher for people to come. And you know, you got other teams that, you know, have made it and not been able to win it. Mountain Brook, they just won it and they have made it to the Final Four the last two years and not won it. You know, Bob Jones made the championship like y'all two years in a row and not won it. When y'all had, you know, you make it and you get beat like you guys did last year when you guys played in it, does that ever creep into your mind that you had made it the year before and, and lost in that game? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I mean, you know, how do you kind of get past that, you know, and thinking about that, you know, when you're in another <coughs> game last year? Um, you just, I don't know, in my, and personally for me, I just focused on like, just do your best, because whatever your best is, just try to do that. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, you know, coming into this year, having won it last year, I mean, how much was the experience of last year getting there and then actually winning it? How much did that pay off for this team this year and making it again? It was, it was fun. And it, it did, it paid off a lot for the hard work that we put in all throughout like four season and then everything we done during the season, like it paid off. Well, you know, when you've made state championships many times as y'all had now, I mean, it had to kind of, were you pretty comfortable in that setting last week? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you know, how much is the experience of having already been there? I mean, how much really did you think that really helped this group in the game itself, you know, and you know, just knowing like, you know, we've been here and done it before. It helped a lot because the, uh, the year we came runner-up, that was our first time ever being in a state championship or in that atmosphere before. So coming back and winning it the first time, when we got back, we was like, this is just another game, just get past it and just play your game. And then this past, last week, winning that, we was just like, we've been here, just do you, you know, you're fine. Compare the nerves of your sophomore year and then you know, last week playing in that game your senior year? My sophomore year, on the way to the state championship, I literally was sick to my stomach. Like, I was so nervous, and I've never been that nervous in my life. <laughs> but last week, I was more comfortable and relaxed because, like she said, it's just, yeah, it's another game, but you got to play hard. You know, for this team this year, I mean, what helped y'all play so well throughout the whole season and end up with, you know, the great record that you guys ended up with? Um, we're, the team, we're more than just a team, we're a family. So we had that bond, you know, and the determination and focus and wanting to do good for ourselves and for the school. And I mean, you know, for y'all now that, that are leaving and, you know, y'all dealt with having a target on your back this year, so what would be your message to some of these younger kids that are now going to be coming up, taking y'all's places on how to deal with probably even a bigger target next year on their back, you know, now being back-to-back -back champs? Um, my advice would be go for it. Like, work as hard as you can. Get, work as hard as you did last season. Like, work harder. Yeah. 
And I mean, you know, when you win a championship, I mean, how do you not let yourself get complacent? You know, like throughout this year, I mean, how are there times that y'all didn't just say, you know, we won it a year ago. Why do we have to do this? How do you just not let yourself really get into that mindset during a year after winning a title? Because um, everybody's out. When you win, everybody's out to get you. So, I mean, you can always have a bad game. And like Coach said, he wanted us to be able to be so good that even on a bad game that we can still win. So that was motivation to not be complacent. You know, when you complete a back-to-back like y'all did, I mean, what is the satisfying, you know, satisfying feeling that you really feel, you know, after, you know, because obviously that was what y'all goal was, was probably to be back-to-back, but to actually accomplish it, not many people do that. What was the feeling like to know that you actually did go and do it? For us seniors, I know we wanted to go out strong, and so winning it back-to-back, that was, it was nice, because you don't want to lose a state championship your senior year. Um... Really, at, okay, so during the summer, I lost my mom, and a lot of my teammates was close to my mom. So that was motivation, because last year she said she wanted a ring. So that was pushing us as a team to get her that ring. So, yeah. And I mean, you know, for you, I mean, what was it like having to go through this year, having that, you know, just happen in the summer? And so how much more special does it make it for you personally? It's very, it feels very good because I know I made her proud, so. Well, girls, congratulations to y'all on, uh, you know, completing the back-to-back and, you know, completing one of your goals, and, and good luck to y'all going forward, and, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what Jasper can do next year. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>